Greetings, this is Charles Darwin. You think you're having a bad day, but let me tell you about a bad day. Twelve million years ago, in what is now Nebraska, there were some animals out grazing in the savannah, and they were just minding their own business. It was probably a beautiful day, and there was lots of nice grass and trees for them to browse upon. And then along came a volcanic explosion in what is now Idaho over the Yellowstone hotspot, and it put a lot of volcanic ash into the air. The heavy ash fell near the volcano, but the lighter ash came all the way to what is now Nebraska. And these animals breathed in this ash, and they started having physiological problems. They got very thirsty, they went for the nearest water hole, and that's where they died. And here they are. You can still find them. Ashfall Beds is one of the greatest fossil deposits in the world for mammals. Many, many different kinds of mammals. Let me just tell you some of the ones they found here. Three genera of three-toed horses. But there were also three genera of one-toed horses. One of them was a browsing horse. Most horses graze, that is, eat grass, but this one browsed on leaves. There were two species of rhinos, the most common one being the barrel-chested rhino Teleocerus. That's most of what you can see over there and right down here. There were three genera of small camels. There was even a, and I am not making this up, a genus of saber-toothed deer. There were three, uh, there was also a three-horned deer. There were five genera of dogs, including one of them that specialized on eating fruit. And there was also a type of elephant. It wasn't a mammoth because those had not yet evolved 12 million years ago. Well, those are some of the things that you can see right here. And as you can also see, the fossils are all in place. A lot of times when you find massive fossil deposits, what you see is the bones have all been torn apart and piled up and that the paleontologists have to figure out how to put them back together. But here, no such imagination or expertise is needed because the bones are still in place. What happened to all of these animals? Why aren't they still found today in Nebraska? Well, apparently they all became extinct at the end of the last ice age, about 12,000 years ago. Not 12 million years ago when this deposit was formed, but 12,000 years ago at the end of the last ice age. The climate was changing and also the first Native Americans had arrived. Now, neither one of these two things by themselves would have had any effect on the extinction of the animals, but you put them together, overhunting of naive animals by the ancestors of Native Americans and the climate change. Even though it was becoming warmer, it was still a disruption of the ecosystem resulting in the uh, decline in animal populations. Put them together and you have a spiral towards extinction. And that's apparently what happened, the Pleistocene extinction, and that's where these animals became extinct. Well, you should come and see this deposit. It's one of the most amazing things you'll see when you want to study past history of the Earth and want to study evolution. Ashfall Beds State Historic Park in northeastern Nebraska, not too far off of U.S. Highway 20. Come and see it. This is Charles Darwin. Tally ho!